Hey guys, Rising Air. And Liz. And uh, the Patriots win this game 33-7 to and what is the strangest blowout I've seen them play in a while. Um, this game went from the Patriots sucked to the Patriots dominated, so... Whatever. Weird. Anyway, um, first quarter, Jake Bailey's doing kickoffs. Actually, he did pretty well for getting touchbacks, so... Except for that one so at the end where... He tried to pooch it. Pooched it. It was really bad. He's got too much leg, and it's a problem. But other than that, he did a great job. Yeah. He did pretty good. Um, so New England decides that to, to take a timeout with 15 minutes left in the first quarter. Yes, that's right. With 15 minutes left in the first quarter. I don't think I've ever seen said, that. I have never seen that in my life. I don't know if Bill was giving them a handicap, or maybe they had 12 men on the field. I'm guessing it was 12 men on the field that he saw. I don't know how that happens on the first play. I have no idea. Or maybe Bill was just screwing with people. I don't know. Anyway. Didn't really help him out that much not in the really. first half. Well, he got a first down, I think. One first down, Washington, and then Chase Winovich got a sack that pretty much ended the drive. So they punt. Um, Brady misses a, misses a downfield open. Josh Gordon. First half was just He's really messy. Got, the Gordon connection's got to improve. Yep. Um, anyway, then he gets sacked. He punts. Brady got hit a lot in this game again. Like four sacks or and something. It's not like Washington has a good D-line. There's no excuse. Skarnacki, oh man, you, you got to get some magic work in here. Um, and then Washington gets their, basically their only good play. Mm. A weird, uh, well, it's like a jet stream rush to the outside. Or jet sweep, sorry. Uh, the outside run with um, Sims. And for some reason, just like a bunch of missed tackles, including by Devin McCourty, which is really strange. Yeah. And uh, Harmon decides... Oh, they got it. I'm just going to sit here and not do it. Oh, oh, all of a sudden they didn't tackle him, and I'm not in position because I'm being stupid and not closing the gap. <laughs> play the play until it's over. You don't stop until the whistle is blown. They are going to get chewed out for that because this should have been yet another shutout. Right. Oh, it could have definitely been one. But anyway, they still haven't given up a passing touchdown, but that's Washington's only touchdown, 7-0. So then the Patriots... Respond with a very good drive. Um, one thing to note is that for some reason they're going spread offense, which I didn't understand. and I don't think anybody understands. No. But it worked here. They, they tie it up 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, no, wait, because nobody can kick an extra point. So it's 7-6 Washington. That's got to stop. It's going to cost them a game. Somewhere it will. And Nugent really should have missed two extra points in this game. He got extremely lucky. It dinged and went mm -hmm. in. Anyway, Danny Shelton gets a sack. They got six sacks in this game. Three and out for the Redskins. They had a horrible punt. And uh, the Patriots get in a fourth down situation. They go for it. It was bad. They decided to do some weird shenanigan. Brady's going to pretend to call signals. Direct snap to James White. Didn't fool anybody. It was blatantly obvious what they were doing. <laughs> Stuff to turn over on downs. Disastrous call. Should have, kicked the, should have kicked the field goal, but they were scared because Nugent, I, I don't know. Whatever. Try Young Ho kick the young uh, Kevin next week. Young Ho Koo. Young Ho Koo. The guy that in the practice squad, I don't know. It's hard to pronounce his name. Um, but my guess is Nugent will still be kicking, whatever. Touchback uh, on the kickoff. Or no, no, no. Hightower gets a sack. This is the second quarter. Hightower gets a sack towards a punt. Bad punt. It's a touchback. Uh, there's a defensive pass interference call um, on the next drive for the Patriots. Edelman draws it. Good play by Edelman. Um, it's actually the correct call. Washington challenged it for some weird reason, but lost it. They did challenge an earlier play that was the that led to the fourth down stop. That was a good call. It was the spot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a spot challenge. It was obvious Josh Gordon didn't make the spot. I'm surprised he had to challenge it. It was obvious he didn't get it. Yeah. But anyway, they kicked the field goal. He makes it. I don't know why they can make harder kicks. I don't know. Just blows my mind. Whatever, it's 9-6 Patriots. Washington three and out. It's pretty much going to be a theme from here on. Patriots punt. Washington fumbles. Uh, stripped by Jonathan Jones. Jamie Collins recovered it. Collins had an excellent game. 
Brady decides that, I, I don't know, I guess he feels sorry for Washington, so he decides to throw it right to a Redskin. He got pressured on a blitz, and for some reason, instead of throwing the ball away, he decides, I'm going to lob it up to the smallest guy on the team, James White. That's a brilliant idea. So it's picked off. Brady was bad in the first half. He was really good in the second half, but he was bad in the first half. Um, luckily, he was good in the second half, because I didn't want to hear another week of, who Brady calls quick. Yeah. Never. He's got no line, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Washington has to punt. Patriots go three and out. Washington decides to just throw some bad interceptions. Jason McCourty. And the Patriots do nothing with it. So, yay. Did they get a field goal on that? I think they might have got a field goal on that. No, I don't think they did. Anyway, they basically do nothing with the turnover. So... Um, Halftime adjustments. The Patriots did what they should have done the entire damn game. It's the worst rush defense in the NFL. Why did you not run the ball? Oh, look. You run the ball in power run and it works. They dominate Washington for basically the rest of the game with the ground game. Yeah. There's, I mean, it's just, they there's not, much to, not say. much to say. They get a touchdown to Bolden. Touchdown pass to Bolden. 19-7. Patriots at this point. Run well. Um, Michelle in the next drive gets a rushing touchdown. It's 26-7. Basically, Washington proceeds to just continue to get sacked and punt and just be terrible. Brady got sacked on their next drive. Then the Washington got sacked by Bennett and Hightower. Um, Olsinski got a good punt return in this game. Yeah, well, it was like 20-something yards. He was, yeah, he was an inch away from scoring, really. I mean, he almost had a seam. And he just barely, it closed just barely too soon. It's going to happen. Yeah, he's, he's been good, other than the one fumble. So finally they went back to the run game after Brady got hit a bunch of times. And uh, and this drive ends with a touchdown to Ryan Izzo. I guess Washington is allergic to Izzo or something, because nobody covered him. For he was completely what? open in the end. Wide <laughs> open. He's literally just a blocking tight end. So I believe he's the 73rd player to, or maybe 72nd. 70, 73. 73rd player to catch a touchdown from Tom Brady. So I mean, at some point he'll probably throw one to Lacoste and maybe Myers will catch one. Lacoste was bad in this game. Yeah, he was bad. 33-7 uh, to 7 at this point after Nugent hits the damn crossbar. How do you hit the crossbar? It's smaller than, than hitting in between. I don't know. Whatever, what, bounced the right what way. What was that guy, like, uh, Parker, right? He just, he kept hitting the crossbar yeah. all year last year? Yeah. How is that possible? Well, I, whatever, the ball bounced into the... It's good somehow, but that's not a good kick. I, I wouldn't give him credit for that one. Yeah. He should, he, he's got to work on that. But anyway, uh, they get another sack on the next drive. That's 33-7. They get another sack. It's one by Collins. That's six sacks. Stidham goes in the game, and from there, they run the clock out. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much Washington at this point taps out too, and they yeah, start running they, the clock too. Patriots start started putting in. They put everybody in. Yeah. So, overall, terrible first half, amazing second half. Um, Patriots had 444, 42 yards of total offense. Oh, Brady did pass what Brett Favre's yeah, numbers, yeah. and he's 17 yards from passing Peyton's all-time yeah, passing yards. He's closing so in. That's on gonna happen Thursday Drew night. Brees. He's like a few thousand, away, thousand from away. here. And Breeze is hurt, so he's going to close that distance a little bit. And I don't know if Breeze is going to play next year. I don't know. After that injury to his thumb. I don't know. Uh, I, I think at some point Brady probably passes him. Probably. If Brady continues to play. If Brady sticks around, yeah. He's definitely going to pass Peyton Manning this year for touchdowns. He threw another three today, so. Yeah. Um, although it's weird because if you count playoffs, Brady has the most everything. But for some reason we don't. Whatever. Whatever. Um... Patriots got 130 rushing yards. Now, Washington technically got 123. That's very misleading because, again, they only 60, scored of, seven points. 60 of that was the big run with the missed tackles where they just... What happened is they thought he was going to run out of bounds, and so nobody tackled him. Yeah. And there were some missed tackles on top of which, so realistically, you take that away, they held Washington to about 60 yards rushing, which yeah. is very good. Yep. So that's misleading. Um, finally got a fumble recovery. Time of possession was pretty even, 31 to 26 in favor of New England. Um, let's go with Brady stats here. 28 to 42 for 348, three touchdowns, one bad pick, but B plus, solid game. Not bad, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Uh, Sony Michelle, 
Finally. That's excellent. 16 carries, 91 yards, a touchdown, 5.7 average. I thought Bolden was good. James White's always good. Edelman, I thought, was excellent. Finally, he had a 100-yard game. Yeah, took, took long enough. Actually, Gordon was pretty good, too. Five catches for 59 yards. Izzo, I thought, had a good game because of the touchdown. I mean, granted, it's wide open, but still got to catch it. Yep. So, um, Lacoste wasn't very good. Myers, they got to use more. Um, hopefully, Dorsett's fine, and he'll probably miss next week because it's short, but whatever. And the whole defense was fantastic. Uh, Gilmore got beat a couple of times by, uh, he was actually covering McLaurin in the game, which I'm surprised. I thought they would double him, but he did pretty good for him for the most part, but, yeah. but he did get beat a couple still of times. He still only gave up the one touchdown. So. Yeah, just a rushing touchdown. They still haven't given up a passing touchdown in five, five games. Like, this defense is legit. Like, yeah. it is the best defense in the NFL. Haters gonna hate. I know. Yeah, Terry McLaurin, three catches, 51 yards. He was okay, but not, not great, but he was also injured and covered by by Gilmore. Really, outside of McLaurin, I thought the rest of, and Sims with the one run, Washington's offense was terrible. Yeah, McCoy was 18 to 27, 119 with a pick. So, not much else to talk about. Uh, Washington's a bad team. Okay, all right, the camera was gonna cut off, so we just restarted it, but. Um, so the Patriots, they played the Giants at home uh, this Thursday. The Giants, I believe they just lost this week, too. Yeah, they lost, lost to the Vikings. The Giants aren't very good. They're not bad, but they're, they're, they're certainly better than Washington. She must have a hairball. Um, I, they got to start They got to start better Thursday. So, we'll get the... Well, let's, let, let's wrap this up before you hear the, <laughs> the cat kitty. comment. <laughs> she's, like, she's just got a hairball. But anyway, so hopefully they'll... they got a short week. Got a... Got to get back to the drawing board, and uh, hopefully they can continue this running success because that's going to help going forward. Definitely. And uh, Brady will, will pass Peyton Manning very likely next week unless something really strange happens. And, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens going forward. So um, Hightower probably gets game ball. He was really disruptive all game. All right. This is Ryzen. And Les. Thanks for watching. Take care.